Hi, I'm Ken Krell. Speakers, authors, coaches, thought leaders come to me to discover how they can take their current position and turn it into high-powered, high-profit, transformational digital events. I can do the same for you too. You're about to watch an excerpt of one of our online events that I think you may find very powerful. After that, I'll meet you and we'll talk about it. So let's look at a model that explains models, or in fact, two models that explain models. So when, when there's something that needs to be communicated to people, um, we often just resort to words only. And we do that in, uh, you know, copy, text on paper, or we just speak to words only. And when we do that, it's like a red zone. So what happens is uh, people say, oh, I hear you. And really that translates into it's just noise. And boy, there's a lot of noise around. And, and the other reality is that only 11%, so whilst people talk about the modalities, visual or kinesthetic, mm -hmm. only 11% of the information from the world around us comes in through the ears. You know, the other, the, there's approximately, um, uh, you know, 3 to 5% through taste and smell and about, and about 3% through uh, touch and that sort of thing, but only 11% through the ears. And so if we, if we can increase someone's visual access to an idea if we can bring it in through the eyes and the visual channel is 83 percent 83 percent of the world's information comes to us through the eyes so an animal primal instinct flight and fight will hear a noise but they don't run they only run when they see the threat they don't react to the auditory they react to the visual and the eyes are so much more emotional than the ears. We hear a news story read out in the news and then we see the images and everything changes. And so if we can give people visual access to an idea, they say, oh, uh, I see. And when people say, I see, uh, now they say, well, that's interesting. So we've shifted from this is just noise to this is interesting. Yeah. If then we can... Uh, give people, and, and interestingly enough, uh, we could do this with stock images and things like that, photos. Mm -hmm. But if we can give people visual, ac uh, structural access as well, which is what a model is doing, is giving you a structure for the, for the thinking. If we can give you structural access, we shift over to this other mm -hmm. side where people say, oh, I get it. And uh, that's believable because it has a structure and, and it, the structure looks kind of scientific and organized. So it's believable. So that means if we can move people up to this quadrant really rapidly where they say, I see, I get it. Now this is desirable because it's interesting and it's believable. But there's a super green quadrant. If this was a scale from one to 10 on each of these two sides, if we deliver this information, and I call that choreography, which is what I'm doing right now with you, there's yeah. a very specific way I'm walking through this model. Yeah. If we deliver this with great choreography, mm. we hit this thing called the super green zone. And at this level, desirable becomes instantly viable. And it, in a heartbeat, everything's changed. And, and the easiest way for people to understand this is just think about how long it would have taken to explain what I just did in words only. It would be impossible. You wouldn't, you, I would have lost you at noise. But part of my agenda was to turn communication into art. Mm. And yeah. if you can turn communication into art, people will engage with you. Um, but the truth is people often say, oh, you know, some people are visual, some people, everyone's visual first because most of it goes in through the eyes. Yeah, that's fair. And then we do something with it inside our head, which is visual, auditory or kinesthetic. Mm. But 83% of all the information gets in through the eyes. And so most of us are visual first. You've got two hours with people. If you frustrate them for three quarters of the time, you, you build enough energy in that frustration. There must be tension for people yeah. to take action. Yes. If there's true. no tension, there's no action. And so if you frustrate them for three quarters of the time and then a half an hour before the end of the scheduled uh, meeting, 
I move to the whiteboard and I say, I think I can draw this, just that line. Mm -hmm. I think I can draw this is magical. When you draw, you draw people in. And where yeah. you point someone's gaze, you point their attention. And yeah. so the moment I go to a whiteboard and say, I think I can draw this, and I go to the whiteboard, all attention is on the whiteboard, and something interesting happens. So that's one short taste of how you can use the power of digital events to help people transform their lives and find a new way to live. Want to learn how you can put it to use in your own business? Well, stick with me for the Digital Events Essentials Plan. It's called DEEP. It'll take you through how you can plan, produce, and profit from your own online events. It's pretty great, it's pretty free, and I think you'll like it pretty much. <laughs> so come join me. Click the link either in the description below or somewhere on this video itself, and we'll take you over there. It's completely free, I think you're gonna love it, and it will give you the plan you need to plan, produce, and profit from your own digital events.